this kit, redo me valves. That'd be good. That'll come in handy for the Fiat as well as the quad bike. I got me new valve stem seals as well uh, for the quad bike. Um, because you know I was losing compression. I wasn't a hundred percent certain what it might be, but I think it is the rings on the piston. Um, I've got a new horn and tool, which I've never used before to horn out that glazed cylinder. I've got an air filter, which might be too small, but I reckon it was for a 250cc one. I've got my new piston in here, which I'll look, out, look at in a second. And this is the old one. So I've just been looking at the old rings, because I've never actually checked them the last time I was here. I've chucked one of the rings in there. I mean, look at the gap on there. You can get... You can get all of that inside there. That's ridiculous. Maybe it's not that much. Try it that way. There. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get that much inside. So, that ring is obviously quite worn. Um... I'm not even going to bother checking the other rings because it's obviously worn, but I will check the new ring. I'll just get that out in a second. There we go. You can see the old ring on the right. It's really thin. In fact, it's, it's misshapen, isn't it? It's quite thin at the top. It's a little... Oh, no, it's not. It's just a shadow. <laughs> but it is quite thin in comparison to that one. Right. So we'll try this one in here. See what it looks like. Straight a little bit. Right. Now look at that gap. What is that? What's that gap? What it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right, so obviously that's a much better fit. I'm almost a hundred percent certain. It was just the uh, the rings, so yes. Okay, so these top two rings, the stamped, they've both got like an M on or a Z. This one's got a two on it. And this one doesn't have a two on it. So does this mean this one's the middle one? The oil rings aren't stamped, so I don't think it matters which way around they go on. Um, I might have to Google that and see which is the right way. So, I'll do the oil control ring first. Now, I believe... I believe I put him in first. Like that. Okay. And I'll get one of these rings. Put underneath. Easier said than done. See one underneath. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Sort of cool. On that side. I don't believe that's right. That won't sit down. What's going on here? Okay. Wait a minute. Take that out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this could end in tears. Right. So maybe, or oh, does he have to like latch in? Is that it? Let's try that again. Put him on the bottom, work it around. Oh, 
Flip it around. That's it. That's one in. God, that wasn't that easy. Oh, let's see if I can get this one in. Again, doing the same thing. I could really do with some glasses, like. He wants to go on the top. Is he on the top? Yep, he's in there. He's going to go around. There we go. Yeah, okay, so he's gone in there. That's the oil control ring. I'll set its position up later. I'll double check that out with a pair of glasses because I cannot see a bloody thing. Now I need to work out which one goes where. Yeah, they look the same. Same size, yeah. Oh, close enough. It's going in whether I like it or not. So, seems a bit inconclusive that really. Um, I want to assume two, it's the second one. Well, why wouldn't you? Um, somebody said that the uh, top ring should have more compression on it than the second ring. It's hard to tell. Oh. Maybe it does, I don't know. So I want to assume that the two is the second one. So I'm going to go for that. Otherwise I'm just sitting around wasting, wasting time. So let's put the second one on. facing the top there we go sorted that already feels way way better than that okay so I'm just going to wrap that up for now they're installed uh, I need to hold that cylinder before I do anything else. And really, I'm wanting to. Um, I want them to do the uh, tip tip springs out. Um, I was waiting for a spring compressor tool from Allegro. I ordered it about three weeks ago. It's been paid for. Just no sign of delivery. No update about delivery. So, I don't know what to do. I might wait till tomorrow and go to a motor shop and see if I can get one. If I can't get one, I'm gonna have to just, um, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and just uh, put the head back together. Right. Okay, let's hone this bad boy. Never done this before. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see the cross hatching in there. Right, let's do it the other way. Let's 
much better. Yep. Much better. I think. A bit more. Yeah, got some proper cross hatching in there now. Bit of a flat spot there and there. That should be the puppy. I can't do any more because it didn't have any done before. Let's see if that works. Yeah. A lot better you can see that cross hatching in there which it didn't have before it was quite glazed i'm not too sure about this top bit i don't know if i need to do it to get rid of that or what i don't know i might uh, have to google that and see if i can uh, if i need to keep on going with that one so there's betty okay enough of her Right, so I'm currently trying to get this uh, rear axle off because if you remember, it was twisted so I'm going to take it off and re-weld it uh, just to give this valve compression pression tool a bit more time to arrive I don't think it's going to turn up to be totally honest I think I'm going to have to buy a new one so I'm just disconnecting everything I mean, you can see how badly twisted that is on there I mean, if you look at the shock mounts Trust me, it's out. <laughs> um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut the swing arm there and maybe put a cut on that side right where it attaches to the frame and um, weld it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take the whole thing off. I wasn't going to originally. I was just going to cut it here and here. But... No, I think I'll take it off at the top where that seam is and just try and straighten it that way, I think. So I'm just busy taking this off for now. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so that is out. Now, so my plan is I'm going to grind this off here cut it off basically actually I'm just going to cut it straight down there and maybe just put a notch in here leave this side attached and pull this bit up I mean I would say that's pretty straight to me as you come down here you can see it's like that kind of an angle obviously I'll measure it first um, yeah Give that a shot, cut that out, and move it along. I mean, you can see how that's been twisted with it not sitting right. This isn't the original frame. He's obviously made this up. You can buy the original one, which might be an easier thing to do, but uh, that means spending money. I don't want to do that. So, when I just cut a slot in there, I want to see if I can tap that back or maybe use some ratchet straps and check me measurements. See if it's any better. Some of the welding. There we go. I think that should do me. I might put a, I'd like to put a gusset in here. But I need to find some steel that would do it. So I might not. There we go. That's all I'm doing for now. Because it might be wrong. I was going to put some braces in. But let's just see if it fits first. Hmm. So after all that. The chassis is a lot straighter. The swing arm is a lot straighter with the frame now. Yeah. But 
the mounts are in the wrong place. It's, uh, what was it, about 12 centimeters from the edge of the frame to the left of the right mount, and just over 11 and a bit between the left mount and the frame, which sort of like seems to be about right. Oh, so we'll have to cut these mounts out and move them. Bloody hell. Okay, so just got these out. Did bit at the back. So I'll clean this up. Clean these up. I'll chuck the swing arm back on the bike and uh, line up the shotter. And tack it into place. I'll probably just have to take this back off again just to weld it in properly. So I'll do that. Okay, so here's the deal. I've fried the angle grinder. I do have a backup, but I fried that one in the summertime when I was here. Damn. Damn. So, I've moved it over a bit. Okay, <laughs> bugger. Uh, so I'm just gonna play with this, get this nice and straight the way I think I want it and spot, uh, chuck a couple of spots on it and take it off and weld it again yeah so I'll play with that a bit all welded and sprayed in it's not a pretty job but I've got a lot more weld on there than what was originally but you know we'll see how it goes if it comes off it comes off uh, alright let's get the shock on There you go, shock's doing a shock thing. It's alright enough. So it's low setting. See how that goes. Uh I'll wind that up. Get it a bit better if I need it. I don't know where it needs to be at the moment. Yeah, so I'm happy happier with that. Swing arms a lot straighter with the chassis. Back accent looks good. It all looks straighter. And the shock's in the centre. Oh, all four Tuesdays work. Not bad. I'm happy with that.